Alright guys, so welcome back to Pain Collectibles. Uh, the Division is probably my favorite video game of all time, next to Mass Effect, like it's up there. And so when I saw that figures were being produced for The Division 2, I was like, oh shit, here we go. I had to grab one of them, and I gotta say, I took a sneak peek, and holy crap, I am so freaking impressed with Soldier Story. Um, it's got the Ubisoft logo branded on here, so I'm thinking this might be a license release from Soldier Story. I don't know, I've never bought from them before, but this just, th this is freaking amazing. This is an amazing, really well executed figure um, that I'm ridiculously happy to have. Um, and yeah, I, I think it's licensed. It's got the official Division 2 logo um, and the Ubisoft branding, so well, it, it has to be. Um, but yeah, they did an amazing job. Got this from Gen Toy. Uh, first time buying from them, no problem, so pretty good. And uh, yeah, okay, yeah, see, so it's got the Ubisoft branding. It has to be a license release, so anyway, guys, this, this is no joke. This is a really fucking good figure, so let's take a look. Quick sidebar, you guys, check this out. Uh, this first package I'm receiving from GM Toy, and yeah, they've got, you know, pretty good, sealed really good. And packing, you know, the heavy duty type of packing corners uh, on on the box. Eight of them. No, that's pretty sweet. Right, beautiful artwork. The figure follow VC in the back, which the game is set in the backdrop. Um, they did an amazing replication out of DC from this game. Uh, and then having kind of lived there for a while, I can tell you that is true. Um, Extension of picture, beautiful SHD, Strategic Home and Division logo. Got the Division 2 and the official Ubisoft branding. So, like I said, I'm pretty sure this is licensed. Otherwise, they won't put all that on there. But this is an amazing, very heavy box. Um, there's just so many accessories that come with it. Really premium, too. Check this out. Open the flap, and it comes out like a book. And The DX version. And look at all the accessories it comes with. All the different weapons. And I had to get the DX because the DX comes with the Dark Zone bag. And that's what I want. So you can give him the Dark Zone looks or a regular look. Multiple really cool options with this. This figure in here. Right here is a Dark Zone look. And uh, yeah, this is just so badass. But inside, it's three trays of awesomeness. I mean, look how much stuff this comes with. Uh, I'll tell you right now that we're not gonna, I'm not gonna pull one item at a time and go up to the camera. It's gonna take way too long and I don't have that kind of time. So we'll just look over each tray and then we'll see what we come up with. Alright, so you have his long rifle, sniper scope, magazine score, I mean, multiple weapons, carabiners, pistols, ammo clips. I mean, it's insane how much shit is in here. A uh, knife, scabbard, watch, teddy bear, grenades, um, some extra hands, walkie talkie, uh, SHD gear, water ball. I mean, this is. It's like a freaking insane amount of stuff that's in here. So, um, and I think, yeah, look at the sculpting and the painting and the textures on the gloves. It's, oh yeah, look at that. That is very good. Look at the paint job on the fingers. This has to be a license released. Teddy bear is awesome. Ooh, yeah, I love this man. Just amazing. All right, let me have his shirt. Can thank you. 
SBU straps. So this it's like a rifle strap. Look at all look at all these tactical pockets and shit. This is really fucking cool. Knee pads. Like this looks like a real armament scaled down first aid kit. Skeleton metal. Like this is really cool guys. Like beyond amazing cool. Fuck yeah. Now we get to the stuff that I really wanted to see. Okay. Head sculpt is kind of cool. Okay, body is kind of not. This is, to me, this is not a very good body. You know what? The proportions are off. I think it'll look fine once. You dress him up, but as of right now, it looks a little weird. Okay, the jeans tailoring his Velcro. If we bring you. It's down more to the hip instead of riding in that high. I do not like this. Hear that ratchet? Weird ratcheting on the shoulder joints. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Body, not the best. So, but like I said, I think once we... Uh, it is not... This is a leather... This is a leather boot. Not split cut, so... Rubber. Yeah, I think once you put his clothes on and all his armaments on, he'll look right, but right now it just looks a little off. I think it's because his pants are too high. Alright. The Dark Zone mask that comes with the DX. Now this thing is sexy as hell. This thing looks fucking good, man. Dark Zone? Hell yeah. Actually, seeing this in person in hand, I probably will do a Dark Zone look. This is your Dark Zone pack. We have to extract your gear out of Dark Zone. Your Division pack, which is awesome. Everything is like miniature scaled down from life size. So this is fucking awesome. Your stand with SHD logo. Don't remember what this is from the game. Okay, your HD beanie. Um, this is cool. Now, if you um, are like me, you're a super fan and you own some of the Dark Zone of the Ubisoft official clothing from this game, then this figure, everything is scaled down from the game or from life size. It's fucking cool. So, all right. Anyway, we're gonna. I'm not gonna do too many poses, but I'm gonna try and put them together. So let's go. All right, guys. A couple things about this figure. It is. I love this figure, man. It's really cool, but this setup took me over two hours to put together because his skeleton battle order, all of the little packs, everything, those are little straps that you have to put everything together. It is honestly, this is the best cut and sew I've ever seen on a 1-6 figure. I mean, every item on here. It's basically life size, cut down to one six and functional. That's how insane this is. So it was a lot of work to put on a skeleton battle order, uh, strap the dark zone pack to the bag, strap his back, the extra accessories in the backpack. Um, there were so much accessories that I you know 
couldn't use them all and I left some back in the box, but this figure is insane. And he's got his dark zone mask in hand. Um, my, my glasses are damaged. There's a, it's coming apart, so, because it's coming apart, so, I have to email Gentoy about that. Um, he's got his SHD watch on, just kind of cool. So, just really fucking cool figure, but I just know that it's gonna take like a long time to get all this little social hooking and straps on. Like, it was pretty insane. But the end result, though, so fucking worth it. Oh, and then these shoes, <laughs> um, <laughs> the reason they're not sculpted, those are real shoes. Like, they are articulated, they have shoelaces. I mean, they function exactly like real shoes. So when I was putting it back together, I had to keep the peg in, re release the laces, slowly put in the clothing, and then time, I mean, it took fucking forever. Um, yeah, so, beautiful figure when done, but huge general pain in the ass. All right, I go. I'm gonna swap one more pose. This looks like a shot from the game in the dark zone. He's carrying his weapon. And then, Put the his pistol in the holster. Strapped up. Yeah, this is dope, man. Freaking sick. So cool. And you can see the dark zone back. Hey guys, this is it for the division. Thoughts and like, subscribe, turn the bell, however you want to do it. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video.